Hey, what's up everybody? Grim Green, GrimGreen.com back here today. Literally just wanted to spend a few minutes with you guys talking about this Famo Vape Fat Baby Tank. I've been using this tank since I got it, just constantly, 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 constantly. I think it's a I think it's a pretty stellar sub ohm tank. Literally the only gripe that I have with this sub ohm tank is that it's loud. When you take a when you take a drag on it, when you take a toot on it, you will hear it. It is not stealthy in any way. It it's loud. It's loud and it sounds like a friggin' wind tunnel. There is literally no need to go uppy closey with this because it is just a sub ohm tank. That's your coil head on the inside. I have this fitted with the bubble glass, but it does come with a regular straight glass. Here is the AFC on the bottom that you can open up and close. Nice and smooth and glidey and stops in the full open position and stops in the full closed position. And it'll kind of stay anywhere you want it to, but I rock it full open. 810 compatible drip tip on top. This is a DHD nub. And then to fill it up, you just slide it over. You got a nice little kidney shaped juice fill hole right there there. It's, it's very mess free. It's very late leak free. The whole construction of this tank top to bottom feels real nice. When you slide this back over, it feels very secure. That's a very important feeling to me. I don't want the top part where you open it to expose the whole juice reservoir to feel weird or weak or loose or wobbly in any way. Thankfully, this one feels very secure. I don't love the way this tank looks. It's got a lot of, I don't know, unnecessary engravings and just noisy engravings kind of all over it which I'm never really a big fan of but since I got this sub ohm tank I have been using the same coil head in it I've been using the same juice in it and I measure my sub ohm tanks by how much juice I can put through them before the coil head eventually bites the dust I've been vaping yig exclusively in this sub ohm tank and I almost got through a full 60 mils with one coil head I could probably get the rest of this juice through this tank and you're not gonna be able to see the juice level but it's right here. It's right at the base of the label right here. Probably 50 mils, 50 mils and some change. But I personally feel like that's pretty good for one single coil head to go through that much juice and not show any real signs of slowing down. It wasn't until I got to the very end of that bottle that I eventually had to turn my wattage down because I started getting some dry hits. When a sub ohm tank coil head is about to die, it will start giving you lots and lots and lots of dry hits. The cotton just wears out and it can't keep up with the wicking anymore. So to combat that, if you want to keep your sub ohm tank going a little bit longer, just turn down the wattage. I was re I was previously rocking this at about 70-ish watts and now that we're getting to the end of the life on the coil head, I've had to turn it down to about 50 watts. But even at 50 watts, it's still given me a pretty good vape and it's still given me some surprisingly good flavor. And it is, it is very loud. Clicking around the internet, I found this particular Fat Baby Sub Ohm Tank for almost $40. It's about $37 to $40. But I will say, I've had a fantastic time with the Fat Baby, the unfortunately named Fat Baby. Why is it named that? But I have had a real good time with it. Really super solid, hassle-free, leak-free, mess-free vaping experience lots of clouds bro clouds lots of good flavor i think i think it's a pretty stellar sub ohm tank and i'm not going to drag this out any longer than i need to i guess we need to play the aliens game okay let's play the aliens game so the aliens or the fda come and take everything i have and i have nothing left to vape with is the fat baby something i would seek out and buy right away here's the thing i like having one or two sub ohm tanks in my arsenal just to have because i get a great vape from them and they're just so damn convenient i'm generally a dripper guy i really like dripping i really like squonking but there's lots of times where i just want to relax i don't want to fiddle i just want to have a tank and i want to know that it's going to give me a good Good vape so I just like having some sub ohm tanks in my lineup and this fat baby has honestly been one of the best sub ohm tanks I've tried this year so yeah I think I would probably buy it but that's what I got for today everybody thank you as always so much for watching and yeah even if it's called the fat baby let's just keep on vaping
And just in case anybody's wondering, this is the SX Mini SL class mod, which I will hopefully have a review for sooner rather than later. So hope that saves me some, some comments down below.